For four centuries, we've used telescopes to look at other planets, but there's no good replacement for being there if you truly desire to know a place. Over the last decade, over 20 spacecrafts have explored the outermost reaches of our solar system. Unlike the Hubble Space Telescope and other observatories that simply orbit the Earth, these spacecrafts have actually traveled to other planets and approached the Sun, sending back images that awe or humble scientists while also advancing their comprehension of our region of the universe. Our first picture is also known as the heart of our home, captured in 2009. While astronomy is usually about looking outward, this 2009 image looks inward, capturing the core of the Milky Way. Capturing this view, which combines images from NASA's Hubble, Spitzer, and Chandra space telescopes, was no easy task. The final image was meticulously assembled by scientists from all three observatories from large mosaic photo surveys taken by each telescope. This composite image offers perhaps the most detailed views of our galaxy's mysterious core ever seen. The different colors indicate different wavelengths. Yellow is near infrared, pinkish is infrared, bluish is X-rays. The bright white region on the lower right quadrant of the image is the galactic center, home to a supermassive black hole. Our next image has been aptly titled A Portrait Refined, as the origins of this picture date back to 1845. Even the most massive galaxies appear to be nothing more than a tiny luminous smudge when viewed from Earth, or did until 1845. On his property in Ireland, William Parsons, the third Earl of Ross, constructed a huge telescope with a 72-inch mirror. He and two astronomers used it to make the first detailed observations of what is now known as the Whirlpool Galaxy, which is located 23 million light-years from Earth. The drawing was revealed months later at the Astronomical Meeting in Cambridge, forever changing the 19th century comprehension of galaxies. Many lifetimes after the first historic drawing of the Whirlpool Galaxy, NASA published a composite image of the exact same great formation, constructed from multiple Hubble Space Telescope images. The smaller body to the right of the picture, which is little more than a sooty blotch in the 1845 sketch, is a dwarf galaxy that is being slowly drawn in by the larger mass. Scientists are struck by images of the Whirlpool Galaxy, not only for their brilliance, but also because this is how our own Milky Way would appear if we could see it from a similar vantage point. Our third image is also known as the Remarkable Rings, captured in 2005. The Cassini spacecraft, which completed its long mission in September 2017, altered science's understanding of Saturn forever when it began orbiting through the Saturnian system in 2004. This color-coded picture of the planet's rings shows the average size of the particles that make up each band. Green, for example, denotes dust in ice particles smaller than a third of an inch in diameter. Purple particles are two inches in size. Other radio observations indicate that some ring particles can be as large as several meters across. The entire ring system extends 175,000 miles into space, or roughly 75% of the distance between the Earth and the Moon. The impressive nature and clarity of the above sharp image may help determine clues about the origin of Saturn's beautiful but enigmatic ring system. Our next photograph was also captured by the Cassini spacecraft all the way back in 2000 and is titled Southern Pass. These color maps of Jupiter were created using images captured by NASA's Cassini spacecraft's narrow-angle camera on December 11th and 12th, 2000 as the spacecraft approached Jupiter during its flyby of the giant planet. Cassini was en route to Saturn. They are the most comprehensive global color maps of Jupiter ever created, with the smallest visible features measuring approximately 120 kilometers or 75 miles. The maps are made up of 36 images. Every hour for nine hours, a pair of images encompassing Jupiter's northern and southern hemispheres was obtained in two colors as Jupiter rotated beneath the spacecraft. Although the raw images are only in two colors, 750 nanometers near infrared and 451 nanometers blue, the colors on the map are similar to those seen by the human eye when looking at Jupiter. The maps depict a wide range of colorful cloud features, such as parallel reddish-brown and white bands, the great red spot, multi-lobed chaotic regions, white ovals, and numerous small vortices. The fifth image is also known as the Dirty Snowball and was captured in 2016. Science, alas, isn't always pretty, never more so than in 2016. In this stunning new image from NASA's Cassini spacecraft, the icy surface of Saturn's moon Rhea sparkles. Rhea, Saturn's second largest moon after Titan, is 949 miles or 1,527 kilometers in diameter. Rhea is almost entirely made of ice, with traces of rock blended in, giving it the appearance of a dirty snowball. 
Furthermore, the smashed moon has been hit numerous times, making it one of the solar system's most heavily cratered celestial bodies. The icy moon also has a very thin, oxygen-rich atmosphere that is approximately 5 trillion times less dense than that of Earth. Even so, Rhea is the only celestial body known to have an oxygen atmosphere outside of Earth. What picture did you find the most beautiful? Let us know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more future videos.